the whole idea. This is Zach Inclos, this is a strategy title from Amplitude Studios called Endless Legend, like Civ 6. So. Yeah, let's see how we go. Thank you, Fit Girl, for this. Targeting phase, you can select the position, right click, and then select the target control. Yeah, so, a DLC a downloadable content came out for this game about last week. So, yeah, this game came out in 2014. Uh, War can have a powerful, devastating effect on everything from a single person to an entire people. More intimately, there are times when individuals' hopes and desires are ruthlessly ground beneath the wheels of the great machines unleashed when countries fall into conflict. In those times, regardless of one's intentions of origins or origins, one has no choice but to make war my life. Setting effect on every person from a single person to a type. More intimately, there are times when an individual's hopes and desires are ruthlessly. Yes, yeah, the description and to reskin the folders faction was hard with Mazari previously unlocked by the Dungeon of the Endless Founder or Crystal Packs uh, unlocked during the Endless Day 20. The Mazari, accustomed to a life in space, the Mazari came in to settle in a room with no ship, no fuel, and no technology to create either. They had no choice but to make the best of it on this strange world of all eager. Whether they survive or thrive or go the way of the Endless only can only be decided by the Tutorial the basics, walking to endless legend. This game introduction will guide you through the coil and you need to know how to play the game. Welcome to Riga. This is better than some naughty. Huh? To survive on this dangerous world, to a reaper, in order to survive on this dangerous world, you will have to build a mighty empire and face powerful foes. Your tale begins here with your first army to looking for a good location to settle your first city. Select your army by clicking on the left click.
as a unit for a unit of infantry faction resigning attributes life 23. Attack 22, initiative 18. Capacities colonization, we saw unsellable cavalry slaves, blocked growth. Is currently composed of only a single unit, a settler, represented by several points on a hexagon. The settler gives an army of the ability to found a city in a neutral region, a region that does not already contain a city. Fog of War and Dynamics of War Grant. Your army can see a distance of three tiles from its position. You can also zoom in out for a better overview. Shaded tiles represent areas you can explore that are not in your field vision. Beyond that, the grey fog of all hides mysteries, areas you've never seen. Vision range determines how far you can see on the map. Vision range for an arm is determined by the middle of the high score. single city which also exploits the region's terrain resources. Each region has a fixed frontier and can only contain one single city which also exploits the region's terrain resources. Terrain resources are food, Industry, science, and dust. Oh, it's the same as endless space too. The space, space planet. To help you decide, you can toggle the display of the terrain resources on or click on the button located at the bottom right of the end of turn. <laughs> Grassland effects plus one from terrain, plants plus two from grassland. Total output three. Most of the major factions, it is best to select a location for a city that gives access to these terrain resources on the surrounding exploitation tiles. To 
found a city in Cornwall, so we just select your own. Click on the colonization. Army action button. And click again on its own. City Centre Wall on one of the six surrounding towns that compose the exploitation area of the city. So if you can see at the bottom of the left bottom left of the screen, you upgrade it. Congratulations, you now rule over an entire region. This is your city interface. Your city center plus the six tiles surrounding the exploitation area will collect every turn their terrain resources. This is the city centre and as a city district tile automatically modifies its initial terrain income, providing more dust and sites but also a bit less food. Uh, city tiles also provide more resource cool influence. The work panel details on the city resource income. You can move a worker from one column to another in order to determine which F I D C production you want to boost for the next turn. Drag and drop left click your worker to see the impact on your resource production. You drag it. 
Food production cannot be stored. Excess food is automatically used each turn to produce additional city workers. The green part of the population growth bar shows that we are about to get additional city work the next turn. Science to get an edge over the other deeper science production. You need to develop your science to get an edge over other empires. Science is aggregated at the empire level and used to research new technologies. Research screen. Similar to industry, you must keep researching new technologies if you don't want to waste your science. From the main banner, open the research screen to learn more about research. Research screen, the research screen is the research screen is where you will help your empire evolve through technology areas as you struggle toward a brighter future. Technology areas, only the first of the six uh, technology areas is currently accessible. Each area is represented by a circle regrouping a number of technologies. To enter a new area, you must research nine new technologies from the previous area. The order in which you do your research doesn't matter. 
cost in science automatically increases for each new technology to research in addition. Researching in more in a more advanced era also costs more science. Technology category: some technologies directly unlock new powers or bonuses for your empire, while others unlock city improvements, expansions, or units that can then be built in your cities. Technology categories, some technologies directly unlock new powers or bonuses for your empire, while others unlock city improvements. Okay. Technology status, uh, blue circle technologies are already known, green ones are unknown. Several technologies can be selected in a row, they will be researched one after another in the order selected. First technology, food and industry technologies are usually food and industry technologies are usually a safe way to begin using your science. You can hover the mouse over each technology to learn its effects. Once selected, a technology will take a fixed number of turns to be researched depending on your science production. Select a technology to research and go back to your city note. Right click can also be used to step back through menus. Seed storage. Yeah, city improvement food seeds have domesticated. Plants are stored for sowing, making crops. More reliable and increasing the amount of food produced. Seeds have domesticated seeds of domesticated plants are stored. Seeds of domesticated plants are stored for sowing. Making crops more and more. Let's do this one. Turn validation. In your turn already by clicking on the end to turn button. Thanks to your food production, the number of workers has increased. There are now two workers available in the worker panel. The borough streets and expansion construction can now be selected from the list of available constructions. Expansions must be directly placed on the map and can be built several times. For most major cities, every two additional cities for most Major factions, every two additional city workers makes one new. The borough streets enables you to extend your city exploitation by building a new city district next to an existing one. Streets construction, click left on the construction wheel, click left on the one of the exploitation and it's always left to the city So that's a borough streets. Mm. 
なんだなまたこんなことかあいけないぐらいじゃあ、ツバラストリートエクスペンションディストリートディモードフォーシティディクライムにコントロールメンのニューフィールドマスクやりたいのがいいと思っていまのでサンツェルグローフバビューリングストリートスガーデスのスウェージシステムスシティスケンエクスペンディングディアテンションディアテンディングディアテンディングディアテンディングディアテンディングディアテンディング Scouting with armies will be your best way to discover the unknown. Unit design and construction to create new units and explore the area must create unit designs. The unit marine has a unit design. In the list of the above constructions, add two copies of the unit design marine to the construction queue. So that's your marine layer. Unit design ranged, faction design, attribute 68 of 68, attack 47. Initiative 21, speed 4 out of 4, defense 22, damage 34. Capacities of range, techno, techno lover, unsellable, point blank, power one, block and sharp, sense I can do. So add two copies, one, and do another one. The two units are queued, but several turns are required to build them. Dust. The most precious resources in Origa hasn't been introduced yet or stored at the Empire level. It can also be exploited by your seeds. City upkeep. Each turn, a city improvement's already built, cost a small amount of dust for their upkeep. The total upkeep of your city improvements is summed up here, but that you'll be able to use the browse button to see what the cost of details.
garrison once again is constructed and it is placed in the city garrison like other construction to achieve the crib. Consumes many tasks for its upkeep. Militia, the great advance in the garrison of the city militia, they came out with garrison as the city's own Units in the, the greater units in the garrison are your city militia. They can only garrison unless the city is under attack. Garrison units, including the militia, are always the last bastion that remains to defend the city against the attack. Max garrison army capacity. Your current max garrison capacity is two units. This capacity is the same for all the cities and armies within the river. This max capacity does not include the militia and it can be increased by unlocking new technologies. New army, you can create new armies from the garrison. Select the two units, control click left or click on the select all button. Then click on the new army button. So they're both selected. Click on new army. Creates a new army with the selected units. Congratulations, army up to the crew. Congratulations, you have now you now have a new army that you can send to explore the surrounding regions. Or do you need to limit the number of armies as they also have an upkeep cost that must be paid each turn, just like the upkeep for each unit. The rig has many real ruins to search. Any of them can provide you with rewards, so if you find one, you should try your luck. Ruins titles, ruins titles that can be searched on the map of Shiny. It is now up to you to decide when to end your turn to remember to check any city construction queues as well as your research queue. And army reward before ending its rules.
exploring until you find some shiny things. Instead, he makes two of them select your palm, you then one click on the rooms and select search. We'll use the button search located in the arm action panel.
you encountered a new one, affection, sisters of mercy. These sisters of mercy are a small but respected nation living simply, though well in their solidly constructed towns, a reason of shit of other humanoid peoples. They are content to dedicate their efforts to giving mercy where and how they deem it most needed. Initiate negotiations with the one affection village if you fulfill the lines of all of the world. leader needs your help. A hostile monster has been raiding and threatening the villages and they lack the military power to stop them. If you wipe out their threat, the tribe will view you as a savior. Something to pacify the sisters of mercy and splat help these hapless neighbors against the depredations of the monster. The tribe has identified their enemies late in temple ruins to find the monster search the ruins with an army of at least two units. So the reward is dying. <laughs> Defender of the weak, the tribe has identified the enemy's late in temple wars. The shape and size of this room indicate a religious or community purpose in better shape than some other sites. They certainly are worth investigating. Journal, you've just received a pacification quest from the Sisters of Mercy living in the region. It has been added to the quest screen that contains a journal with all your quests. You can open the quest screen through the notification or by left clicking on the button in the main banner. You can hover quest objectives. You can you can hover the curse over the quest objectives to get more details about their completion.
pinned quest, you can also use the pin button to track a quest. It will then be displayed at the top right of the screen as a reminder. Go back to the world map in order to complete your current quest. The quest marker indicates the specific rooms you have to go to and search for the quest. The location will even be visible through the fog of war. Please note that for other quests, the markers may only be visible within the vision range for your army. Complete the Sisters of Mercy quest in order to pacify all their villages in the region. Okay, so let's go here. You have received a new quest. You have encountered a new line of faction. It's the one there. Select your army interaction with its target. Search for clues at this location. This can reveal treasure, enemies, a quest, or nothing at all when performed by hero. This action provides a base value of 8 XP. Quest updated. Defender of the week. Uh, to pacify the Sisters of Mercy and split help these hapless neighbours against the depredations of the monster. Found it. Survive the battle if possible, but more importantly, make sure the monster is cured. You can now attack the army. Any army, any attack, army, village. Once your army is selected, right click on the enemy quest army to start the battle. We'll use the army action button attack. If the target is a minor faction, the village will be pacified, but we won't bring other bonuses onto its report. Deployment area 
walk to the battle branch and with the deployment phase your units spread out from your armies leave its position across the side shape with the colour blue room. All units start by taking the four positions your opponent's units positions are only an estimation and are likely to change when the battle begins. City battle screen switching. During the battle, note that you can always click in and out of the battleground if you want to manage your cities or give orders to other armies at the same time. Select one of your units on your side of the battleground. All unit information is listed in the unit panel, uh, class, attributes, capacity, status effects, level and strategy. here in the top left. All unit information is listed in the unit panel, class, attributes, capacities, status effects, level and strategy. Life is the amount of damage the unit can sustain. Attack determines your ability to inflict damage. Defense reduces the attack odds. Initiative helps your unit strike first in battle. Damage determines the hit score of a successful attack. Speed determines the number of tiles the unit can move per, per round. Uh, contextual bonuses attributes can also be impacted by the factors relative position, attitude, altitude, and terrain. Relative position. you have selected, you have entered the first targeting phase of your battle. You can now decide how your units will perform the actions for the first round of their fire. Each unit will move and attack each round. The initiative bar shows the order in which units will be laid during the process. Select one of your units. Each unit you can also choose between one of three strategies for the default targeting and aggressive and cautious will set more or less aggressive targeting.
select the unit, right click on the tile or an enemy unit you want to target, or set a default structure, then press launch when you're ready. Unit XP, congratulations, you won your first battle with the trouble. If the trouble rules prepare their songs, whatever the results, surviving units always earn experience points from enemy units killed. Earned experience points are equally shared between units. See the effect of the pacification of three village workers have joined your city from the three pacified villages in your region. Pacification is also possible village by village if you attack each of them. However, in that case, you then need to rebuild each village to obtain these additional workers. The Empire screen is the global dashboard that lets you view your Empire status and take. Resources as a quest to reward. There are 15 different kinds of luxury resources. Discover on the river, each of them granted specific bonuses to your empire.
can also decide to spend influence to assimilate minor factions. Assimilation will give you useful new bonuses. And the unit design of the minor faction, as long as the minor faction stays assimilated. You can also decide to spend influence to assimilate minor factions. Assimilation slot in the Empire screen, then on assimilate once you have selected the Sisters of Mercy. Click on the assimilation Go back to your city menu to find out more about luxury extractors. Luxury resource extractors, a dye deposit was discovered in your region, making the dye luxury extractor available in this deposit constructions. Extractors later collected with luxury resources from your region of return as expansion spot. Constructions are built directly on the adventure map. Click on the dye extractor construction to queue it, then click left click on its deposit tile to place it directly on the map. Select a valid location to build this structure. Strategic resource extractors, well done. And the strategic resources can also be cut by the extractors. Similar to the space to in addition, the military school or something. He 
here you can edit unit designs that will then become available in the list of possible constructions in your cities. Weapons, armor, and accessories. Uh, depending on the unit, you can add different weapons, pieces of armor, and accessories to your design. These will improve the unit's attributes or even give them new cap capacities. That's interesting. I've never seen this in a strategy title before. This game was developed in 2014, I think, as well. Yeah, very interesting. Once you're happy with your design, once you're enabled, you click on relevant, you can do it already. You can see where the T was. <laughs> 